Ben Stein is here to tell us about his new documentary that exposes a dirty secret in the world of science. Coming up. We is is for heaven's sakes. So his theory is smoke, but elegant smoke. There's a certain elegance to it, but you know, I think Einstein had the appropriate remark. He preferred to leave elegance to his tailor. That was a clip of Ben Stein's new documentary, Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed. The film offers an in-depth look at science in the 21st century, specifically the scientific community's obsession uh, with evolution and the great lengths it will go to to discredit intelligent design or uh, the religious view of creation. Here to talk about the film is actor and author, among other things. Very unique career you've had, Ben. Your first appearance, finally. On, on Hannity and, Hannity and Gold. I've been waiting for years. Uh, well, we were happy to have you. <laughs> I know, I cannot, <laughs> We've been waiting for I you for years. I can die happy now. Yeah, you can, this is it. This <laughs> yes, is, this is the it. pinnacle. This is it. After all, I'm, you've done Ferris I'm Bueller. I'm retiring now. I've been on Hannity Ben Stein's Gold. money, I'm Ferris retired. Bueller, but I'm, this is it. This is it. All right. Uh, in this movie, yes, you go to a concentration camp where Mengele. We went. No, uh, we, we went uh, to Dachau, not to Auschwitz. Okay, okay. Uh, and you talk about Hitler influence being influenced by Darwinism. No doubt about it. Uh, it's why invoke clock. Hitler? What are you trying to say? Well, our point is that uh, Darwin, this meek, mild-mannered sage of a country estate outside London, uh, had ideas which, when implemented, uh, uh, led to the Holocaust. He believed there were superior and inferior races. He believed that only fools would allow the inferior races to continue breeding. His followers and close friends in the United Kingdom said that meant we should start exterminating the Jews. Uh, but are you implying that if you believe in evolution and Darwinism, that there's a link to the way Hitler no, thinks not and today, there was that not what today, you're Not to today's Darwinists. No, not at all today's Darwinists. I mean, the leading Darwinists today, like Dawkins and Dennett, those people aren't even remotely in that league. But Darwinism gave the rationale for the Holocaust. There had always been anti-Semitism. There had always been racism. But to apply the idea of exterminating whole races as a good thing, as a thing that was salutary for the human race, that came out of Darwinism, and it, it's a frightening thing. Yeah, I mean, but it's not what Darwinists or people who believe in evolution think. That's no way that any of us who may believe that are close or anywhere I near that. Agree so more, that I couldn't agree more. that is not right. I couldn't agree. I didn't say. I didn't imply. You, you well, just, by bringing up you Hitler just and bringing up concentration just, camps you, in the you film, just, aren't no, you? You just implied it, Alan. But, but that's what you do in the film. No, you bring no, up Hitler. No, no, we brought it up about Darwin, not about you. Not about oh, you but those who believe no, no, in evolution. No, you're just making that up. You just made that up. That's just not true but at all. Why bring we, up Hitler? Because we, Hitler was a lineal descendant of Darwin. He wasn't a lineal descendant of Alan Colmes. I don't <laughs> think you were even alive. I understand, but the implication is there. Well, that's, the implication you know. is just an implication that you made up. <laughs> all right, well, that's what I, the implication I got from watching your movie. Uh, well, what, we could there be a scientific up. explanation to the creation uh, uh, of the world? I don't think that, here's my point, that, or at least the point we make in the movie, there's no evidence whatsoever that Darwin had anything useful to say, or anything to say, period, about how life began, or how the universe began, or how gravity began, or how physics began, or fluid motion, or thermodynamics began. He had nothing to say about that whatsoever. So why attribute that to Darwinist causes? Why not say it's just as likely that there was an intelligent designer who did that? I mean, there's no yeah. reason to believe that there wasn't an intelligent designer who did it. Ben, welcome, welcome to the show. Good to Thank see you. you. Thank well, you. One of the things you are exposing in this movie is that educators, scientists, they're ridiculed, denied tenure, fired, because they believe that there is evidence of design Yes, they're, In they, nature. all you have to do, all you have to do is say, look, how do the planets stay in their orbits? How can a cell have a million or close to a million moving parts, all of which fit together perfectly without there being intelligent design? All you yeah. have to do is ask the question, mm -hmm. and you get fired. Not always, but often enough. You know, I, look, I, I've had many, many debates with with a lot of friends of mine over the issue of of creation. You know, late at night, nothing better to do. We talk about it, but it's important to me because I do believe that there is a creator. I believe I there's too. a God. You know, I don't know how one could look at the majesty and the sophistication and the intricacy of universes within universes and the sun and the stars and the gravity and, and all the beauty and majesty of creation and not conclude there's a God. I, I don't know how either. I mean, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Dawkins, uh, this great, great atheist and Darwinist, said, well, you, God has kept his existence hidden. He says that in our movie. But it's not hidden. All you have to do is look at the Grand Canyon. All you have to do is look at Lake Ponderay in North yeah. Idaho. All you have to do is look at a sunset on the island of Manhattan or a sunset in Malibu and you see the evidence of God all over. But to be an atheist, don't you have to believe that something comes from nothing? You have to believe that the universe originated in nothing and is rushing towards nowhere and that just doesn't make any, any more sense. Let me just say, now people say to me all the time, but you have no scientific evidence for intelligent design. And it's true. We, we don't have a signature of an intelligent designer except for the complexity itself is the signature. That it all could have, first of all, that it could have existed on its own, exploded in a, a massive explosion and then 
with all the intricacy and yes. sophistication of it all. I mean, the chance of it are minuscule. We have mathematicians yeah. who say the chance is nil. It yeah. could not, it simply as a matter of arithmetic, it couldn't have happened. Explain a little bit more about the film, because I want to make sure people get a chance it's to a, see this. The movie is about uh, our, is our plea for academic freedom and an end to academic suppression about uh, people, of people who believe in intelligent design or even a possibility of intelligent design. We're sick of being pushed around. We People took our God away from us and gave us Darwinism. Darwinism doesn't work. We'd like our God back. Well, we got all you got to do is look at nature. Ben, Thank good to see you, so my much. friend. Thank, Thank you, you so for being much. with us. Thank Appreciate you. it.